What's going on guys? I uh, just wanted to do a quick video to uh, show you how to get the the uh, the smoother controlled option enabled in the uh, Pro version of the Majestic Dash 8 Q400. It doesn't come enabled by default, you have to enable it yourself. Um, if you read through the manuals on how to do it, you might have uh, seen it and said to yourself or thought that it looks kind of intimidating but it's not it's it's really easy um, I'm going to show show you how to do it so first you have to uh, navigate to this path here where your FSX is installed to sim objects airplanes MJC8 Q400 folder then you go into the INI folder and you open the MJC84.ini file alright now once that is uh, open the first thing you're going to do is you're going to um, change well this should already be set but under the interface section here you go to the joystick interface and you set that to 1. If it's set to 0, set it to 1. The next thing you do, you go to the all the way to the bottom I think, uh, but you look for this section here, Joystick Interface Assignments. And uh, you find this line here, J0 underscore X Flight Control Sensors Aileron and you remove that semicolon you go to the uh, the other line J0 underscore Y flight control sensors elevator you remove the semicolon from that and then you go to the next line the one for the rudder this one here you remove the semicolon from that too um, I should tell you that before you start doing all this stuff you should uh, back up your MJC84 INI file just in case you screw something up you can restore it so make a backup of that first before you do these changes then uh, the next thing you're gonna do is uh, you yeah after you change all that then you go to um, another section here where is it Um, you look for the flight controls. I think it's under flight controls. Yeah, here. So you find the flight control section and you come down to this line, flight control positions from FSX. Elevators by FSX, you set that to zero. Ailerons by FSX, you set that to zero. Rudders by FSX, you set that to zero. Then so that's uh, what you need to do. Um, if you have like a home cockpit setup, you're only using one joystick. Like the uh, Majestic Q400 uh, has the ability to to use two separate um, joysticks for independently independently controlling the captain's side control column and the first officer side control column. So if you're only using one joystick you have to change this line or these lines if you don't do these changes then the uh, the manual says that the flight control range will be reduced by up to 50 percent so you go to elevator 1 which I think is the first officer side you find the elevator 1 deflection and you change that value to 0 aileron 1 deflection change that value to 0 rudder 1 deflection change that value to 0 alright and that's that's it you um, you, uh, you click file you click save and uh, yeah that's it that's all you need to do and when you do that you'll have the I think it's the uh, the 125 Hertz the four times um, smoother control inputs that they advertise for the pro version that's specific to the pro version 
Um, I was going to show you how to uh, assign buttons to the autopilot disengage and the go around button, but that's a bit it's a bit tricky because um, these are the lines um, but what the majestic registers as a button pressed right, for example if I go to um, game controller settings and go properties if I this is the button that I'm pressing if you see this this number two uh, thing here light light up that's the button I used to for autopilot disengage you see that that's registered as button two right but the majestic has it as button one for autopilot disengage and it works in the sim if you have a registered version of FSUI PC and you go to the uh, I think it's the buttons and switches tab and you press that button it will register as button one however the joystick number I think is, is not I think is registered as joystick one in FSUI PC whereas here you see this joystick zero so it's a little bit confusing um, and if you if you watched my uh, my rough over, overview video when I was talking about the touch control steering button, that's yeah that I the reason why it wasn't working is because uh, you had to assign it to uh, a key a button press for it to work, and it's actually a little button labeled as TCS on the uh, yoke um, on the left I think it's the left uh, horn uh, of the uh, uh, at least the captain side of the yoke and I uh, when you press that it allows you to use the control column to or when you hold it press it and hold it down it allows you to use the control column to change the um, the the aircraft flight path so you can it's like it's momentar momentarily disconnecting the aircraft from the autopilot without disconnecting the autopilot so it allows you to make uh, manual inputs or corrections without disengaging the autopilot alright so um, yeah that's it I hope this uh, little video this uh, little video will help you guys to do that um, yeah, if you have any questions let me know in the comments um, and again before you do all this stuff make a backup of uh, this file here yeah so that's it um, see you in the next one